Hello friends, wizards, witches, and muggles. Welcome to my common room. Sorry, no, there are muggles watching. Welcome to my living room. Today I'm gonna to be doing a living room tour. And I gotta say guys, I'm really excited. So if you're new here, firstly, hey, I'm Cherry. Secondly, about five months ago, I lived on my own for the very first time in my entire life. And I was so excited because it meant that I got to play with my own space and my own house and make it more me and add a little magical twist to each room. Now I have started with this living room. I'm pretty sure I'm finished now. There might be like one or two things that I wanna add and I'll talk you through those later on. But yeah, the color theme, you're gonna see there's a lot of neutrals, there's a lot of whites and kind of greens. We've gone for a nature feel and it has come across as a bit of a Slytherin common room. I'm not mad about that if I'm being completely honest. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys around. I'm gonna show you my bookcase and show you everything that I bought for this space. And I'll try and let you know where everything's from as well. So let's get started. Welcome to my living room. And hey, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell if you don't wanna miss any videos. But let's go, cause I'm excited to show you around. Welcome to my living room, guys. So first things first, here's a little overview of the room. It's so cozy and I cannot wait to show you. So I'm actually gonna start over here, which is my cozy corner, <laughs> which I adore. So I'm gonna start off with the chair. This is from Loaf. It's in shade Cucumber Sandwich. It's in a clever deep velvet and I love it so much. <laughs> Above there, I actually have a picture which is a print by Mina Lima and it's number 42 out of 1000. That's right. <laughs> so there's only a thousand of these in the, in the world, which is pretty cool. And yeah, I recently bought this side table from B&M. I think it was only 15 pounds, but I'm obsessed with it just so that anyone that's visiting and sits here can have a little table for their drinks. Now, let's talk about what I consider the showstopper of this room. This is my pride and joy. This is a bookcase and <laughs> this bookcase has been here since I moved in, but I've dressed it and I just love it so much. So I'm gonna go, let's go along the shelves. So at the top, I've got some storage. <laughs> I've got some candles. I have this little owl with a little mushroom, which used to belong to my grandmother, the owl. And you know, it's a little magic touch. You guys know that I love owls and Harry Potter and that kind of thing. Um, this is a little storage box. Uh, this is normally where I keep my lighters for lighting candles but I made it like a little treasure chest. Then got a little decor piece. I've got some candles. I, I love candles. <laughs> Haven't lit this one yet, but I'm very excited. Also have a little KK slider from Animal Crossing because I've played that a lot in this room. Have a little book pile. Pause if you wanna see which books are on my pile. But yeah, there's a lot of Law of Attraction books there, a lot of good vibes, some poem books. I have a book called The Bird Book because my mum bought me some binoculars and my dad actually. And then there's some witchcraft and cleaning and tidying books. That's basically me in a nutshell. <laughs> then I have this. Now, so many people asked what this was and where it's from when I showed it in the past. Uh, this is called an armillary sphere and it's so beautiful. I bought this from a shop called HomeSense or TK Maxx or TJ Maxx if you're in America. And this reminded me so much of something that would be inside Dumbledore's office and I just had to have it. So there you go. But yeah, it does it. It spins, you can move it. It's very cool and I love it so, so much. <laughs> Moving on, I have a little portrait of a, uh, a pheasant. This is by an independent artist in Scotland. It's painted on glass. It's so beautiful. And I bought this because there are pheasants in my, in my garden <laughs> and the field behind my house. So I bought this knowing that one day, if I don't live here in the future, this will always remind me of living here got a fake plant. I have, hello, you can see me. <laughs> I 
I have a magnifying glass, which I got from Museum Context in Scotland. Just a little vintage magical moment. Again, feels like something that would be in Dumbledore's office. Love that. And then down here, we have some of my books and I'll just show you a quick glimpse into what they are. So I've got some DVDs, obviously, priorities. Uh, I have an Oprah Winfrey book, some more DVDs, um, <laughs> some gardening books, dreaming books, some craft and witchy and drinks, nature, and <laughs> a few a few autobiographies in there as well. But yeah, just, just a few of my books which actually went with the theme of this room, so I'm quite pleased with that. Also have some of these that I still need to read. I've just noticed <laughs> There's a spider illustration there, so it kind of goes with the nature theme, but that's kind of creepy, but... Now, this is the restricted section. <laughs> this isn't actually restricted, but I love this sign. I got this in a subscription box. I should probably put some restricted books in the restricted section. Now, this is probably one of my favourite things that just made me giggle so much. Now, this box and all of its plants were gifted to me by a lovely online, magical online family member, like one of you guys, thank you so much. And it's a, uh, it's a little herbology box. Like how adorable is that? And I was like, that's perfect. Now, this is where I keep my bow truckles, pickets at the front and you know, we've got another one here. So if anyone needs to rehome some bow truckles, I got you, I've got the perfect housing for them. And then I just have a storage box here as well. So I'll just give you another little overview of the bookshelf of dreams. Isn't it so pretty? Oh, it just fills me with so much joy. Right, let's move on. <laughs> now I do have a log burner in my living room. I've never had one of these in a house before and I love it. It's so good in the winter. It helps save on heating bills, <laughs> uh, but I don't use it too often if I'm being completely honest, but I like the look of having some little logs next to it in a basket. I've got, this is where I burn my candles and have my, my white company reed diffuser, which makes this room smell incredible. But yes, this is a fully functioning log burner it's very clean at the moment <laughs> normally this window goes completely black when you use it but i've not used it this year so yeah then next to it i've got all the tools that i need to keep this functioning and on top i know you're going to ask what is this this is a fan that spins round to show if there's um heat so if it's spinning you do not touch <laughs> So there we have it, my log burner. I love it so much. <laughs> then I have this rather large mirror. This is a circular mirror. Hello. <laughs> this is from Ikea. And yeah, I think this goes really well with this room. Um, speaking of circles, I did, I purchased the rug. Some of you guys know that I was looking for a rug. I finally got one. It's circular, so it kind of has that kind of symmetry with the mirror, which I quite like. <laughs> and let me show you the pattern. It's, it's not vintage, but it's made to look vintage. And this is a really special rug. It's actually by a company called, ah, there you go. It's called Ruggable. This means that these can just be ripped off the bottom pad and be thrown into the washing machine. Like how good is that? Rugs are always so hard to clean, but this one you can just put in the wash. And yeah, thrilled. One of my favorite purchases of the room. It's got the kind of natural browns and green tones in there as well. Let's move on to my entertainment area. <laughs> so here we have it. This is my TV. Again, high in the TV. Um, I have a PlayStation 5. Now I did buy this so that I could play Hogwarts legacy for you guys when it comes out. I've even got a headset, I've got the controllers, and yeah, I have been playing this with my best friend as well. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I love it so much. Again, I went with the white because it kind of goes with the room. We've got a little faux plant over there. These little owls, speaking of my best friend, Rachel, she bought me these little owls whilst I was kind of making over this room and she knew the color theme and bless her cotton socks. She knew that these would go well in here. So they have a home. <laughs> 
Now, you may spot a tiny little Tom Nook down here, as well as a miniature Timmy and Tommy, because I love Animal Crossing. Now, I will say, this is where my Nintendo Switch normally lives, but it's currently upstairs, but that's where its dock is. And then in here, um, <laughs> do I wanna show you in there? Ooh, probably not. That's just mainly cables and storage. Then have my TV, and then as we move over here, I've got this little mat. I have the door open right now because it's so hot. But I have this cute little mat which I thought would go perfect in here because I do use these patio doors into my garden. This is where I sit in the evenings. And here I have some witches bells. Now, I didn't know what this was when I first received it, but I have learnt that these are meant to keep like bad kind of spirits out of your home. So they live there. Now down here, I've got this basket. Now I knew before I'd even designed this room that I really wanted a wicker basket for blanket storage because I think they look super cute, but also really practical. So I've got a blanket at the bottom. I have this one. This one's from B&M. It's part of their botanist range and it's in this beautiful sage color because it kind of ties the whole room together. And yeah, so that's where my blankets live. And then this is kind of like <laughs> the, the corner that's a bit random. I've got a faux plant there. Now this is from Ikea. I bought this a long time ago and then I realized it's kind of damaged. It shouldn't look like this. It looks really bent and like all the leaves are, look, they look really, scraggly they're not meant to i do still have like six months to return it but oh it's so much effort <laughs> but either way i am going to try and fix this if any of you have had this plant before it's a fake plant but if any of you have had it and had this problem and you know how to straighten these i have asked before i'm i can't use an iron they're made out of plastic i'm not sure if a steamer is a good idea either um but yeah so that lives in the corner and that's actually hiding one of my new lighting systems, which we'll talk about later. This is some storage. I keep my TV remote and also a nail file. I like to keep my nails nice. I've got a wireless charging pad for people's phones, tissues in case I watch sad movies. And then here is my sofa of dreams. You guys know all about the sofa of dreams if you've watched my vlogs, but this took months and months and months to arrive. And I gotta say guys, I am so in love. It's my favorite thing I think I've ever purchased. I've sat on this and lay on it every day since I got it. And I'm so happy. <laughs> now this storage poof, this is probably something that I would like to replace. But for now, this is just a poof that's for storage, for blankets and that kind of thing. It's currently got some carpet samples under there too. But yes, I have some cushions on here which match the cucumber sandwich armchair. I think I wanna get two more cushions for here as well. I wanna get some kind of neutral cream, kind of tassely things maybe. It's, you know what I mean? Like a nice cream cotton cushion or something. <laughs> and then above, I finally got my pictures on the walls. <laughs> now, these are just from a poster store. I wanted them to feel subtle magic. So this reminded me of Hogwarts. I don't know if this is actually one of the locations that it was shot, but it looks like one. <laughs> and then over here, I got this because it reminded me of like, the Great Lake or the Black Lake from Harry Potter. And yeah, I just think they were subtle but beautiful and kind of remind me of where I live because I do live in the country and there's lots of mountains and nature around. So yeah, there we have that. And then over here, I have another side table. I have a bin underneath. I have this really cool candle holder, which I love. I got that from Next. And then this is a light, which I'll talk about in a second. And then just on the back of my door, I have some binoculars. <laughs> these are Pentax. My mum and dad bought me these for my birthday because I have this beautiful view and I can watch like bunnies and birds and you know, all of nature. There's sheep and cows that I can watch. So I love those. They're some of my, one of my favorite things that I've ever been gifted, which is really cool. Now here is something quite special guys. <laughs> I feel like such a badass that I installed this myself. So this is a Philips Hue light remote, but you can just put it on the wall and use it as a normal light switch. So I don't use this light switch anymore, but I use this and it honestly, it's daytime right now, but 
Oh my god, it's oh, magic! And then I can just turn it off. You can actually see in the corner by the plant, like over here, <laughs> when it turns on, like it just, it's so cool. Like how amazing is that? You can even change the colors. I'll try and show you. Okay, I've shut my curtains in hopes that I can kind of demonstrate it a little bit. So before I used to go around turning like 20 million lights on in here, but now it's just one click of a button and the whole room just turns on. It's so magical, there's so many different settings. Hopefully you'll be able to see a little bit. So this is my phone and this is linked up to all of the lights here. So we can turn it onto galaxy mode and it kind of makes it these pinks and purples. You could, I've done a Halloween setting, so it's all spooky with like orange and green. I'm so excited for Halloween. I've even done a festive mode where it's like perfect for Christmas. Oh, but yeah, you can even do like moonlight. Like how cool is that? At night, this looks immense. I honestly had so much fun creating this really nice comforting space which had that kind of element of sophistication but also so many hints of magic everywhere but they wouldn't be so obvious to a muggle um so yeah it just makes me happy and it's definitely one of my favorite rooms and i just want to spend all of my time in here if i'm being completely honest and hey if you are interested in checking out philips hue it's not sponsored but honestly this is the coolest thing that really did tie this entire room together it was one of the final things that i kind of set up and honestly super easy to set up as well i did it all myself there was like one two three four five six seven lights lights in this room um, that create this super like magical <laughs> feeling. It feels magical having one remote to do the whole room. So yeah, I will leave a link to everything down below. And yeah, if you're interested, go check it out. But yeah, that is my living room. Thank you for joining me in my home. I hope you have enjoyed seeing kind of what I've done with the place and I'm gonna think about doing some other rooms in my house as well. My guest room totally needs a makeover. My office definitely needs a makeover. So maybe if you're interested, leave a comment down below. Let me know which room you want me to do next, office or guest room, <laughs> you get to choose. But for now guys, it's time for you to leave because I've got some Spider-Man movies that I need to catch up on. I've watched all the Tobey Maguire ones. I've watched all of the Andrew Garfield ones. He's my favorite so far. And now I've got Tom Holland's to watch. I know, I'd never watched Spider-Man before. Who am I? Leave a comment down below. Who's your favorite Spider-Man? I need to know. And if you've not watched them, then you're as bad as me. Seriously, you're missing out. They're really good. <laughs> right, guys, I will see you soon. If you enjoyed this video and liked it, then please do give it a magical thumbs up just before you go and subscribe if you're new, and I will see you soon. Bye. Get out of here.